Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this logical equation. This question was sent to me on Facebook yesterday and we asked to find the real values of x that can satisfy the equation. And the equation is the square root of x equal to 1 plus x minus 1 divided by 1 plus square root of x. Alright, let's get started. First of all, I would like to bring 1 to the left which is going to transform it to negative. So we have the square root of x minus 1. And this will be equal to x minus 1 divided by, I can write this as square root of x plus 1 because they are all the same. 1 plus 2 is the same thing as 2 plus 1. So we have square root of x plus 1. Then to clear the fraction, we can multiply both sides by this denominator, which is square root of x plus 1. So we have square root of x minus 1 to the left. We're going to multiply it by square root of x plus 1. This will be equal to x minus 1 divided by square root of x plus 1. We are equally going to multiply the right hand side by square root of x plus 1. By so doing, this will cancel this, right? And if you observe, this is nothing but difference of two squares. You take the first time, you square that, we have square root of x squared. You subtract, take the second time and square that as well. This is equal to, to the right hand side, we only have x minus 1. This is x minus 1. And square root of x squared is x minus 1 squared is 1. And this is equal to x minus 1. Alright, observe the left and the right hand side are exactly the same. If we so wish, we can continue solving. But we can also take negative 1 to the other side. We have x equal to x minus 1. As this crosses over, it becomes positive. And negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So you can see that x equal to x finally. So how do you conclude when you have a situation like this? If x equal to x, it implies that for every x you pick in the set of real numbers, it will satisfy, right? Negative 1 equal to negative 1 if x is negative 1. If x is 100, we have 100 equal to 100. But remember, remember we have radical. And we don't take square root of negative numbers unless if you want to jump into imaginary world. Therefore, we are only going to consider positive solution. So we have x belongs to the set of positive real numbers. And you can write it in an interval notation as what? x belongs to the set of values from 0 down to positive infinity. You know we don't include positive infinity because we don't know what value exactly is positive infinity. But 0 is inclusive. If x is equal to 0, you can test it here to see whether this statement is true. You have square root of 0 is 0, right? We have 0 minus 1 is minus 1. To the bottom we have 1 plus 0 which is 1. Then we have the whole of this as negative 1 divided by 1 which is negative 1. And negative 1 plus 1 is 0. The left and the right hand side are all equal to 0. So whatever positive number you test here will satisfy this equation. And this is our conclusion. X belongs to the set of positive real numbers. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.